In this tutorial, we'll explore how to texture various components of our model using only Figma frames and basic material settings. Our focus will include adding textures to the frame, control buttons, and screws. We have prepared Figma frames with color, roughness, and normal maps. We'll start by importing the color map from Figma. Simply right-click on the desired frame name and select Copy Link to Selection. Let's select the body frame part of our device, which we've organized into a group, and apply the Figma frame to all elements within the group. If the objects in the group consist of varied materials, merge them into a single material to maintain uniformity. Adjust the texture projection to ensure uniform application across every item in the group. By choosing a cube texture projection, the texture is projected to the objects from all six directions. Now change the color from solid to Figma frame and paste the copied frame link. Then repeat the process for roughness and normal maps. Set the metalness value to 100% to achieve a metallic look. Moving forward, we'll fine tune the texture tiling. Navigate to the texture transformation settings and enhance the tiling along both axes. The beauty of using Figma frame textures is their flexibility. Like manually uploaded textures, they allow for adjustments, transformations, or overlays. will reduce the texture resolution for faster project loading, noting that lower resolution can be compensated by higher tiling. A significant benefit of employing Figma frames over traditional texture uploads is the simplicity of updating texture maps directly within Figma. Refreshing the Figma frame links in your project will apply these updates instantly. Let's apply the same material settings to the screws. Grouping all screws under a single category enables us to apply the material to the entire group rather than individually. After selecting the group, utilize the eyedropper tool to copy the material. For the ground support caps, texture maps aren't necessary. We'll simply increase the metalness to 100% and adjust the roughness slightly. Applying these settings to the on-off button requires a minor adjustment in color value as well. Next, copy the material from the frame to the two control buttons on the front board. With the normal map, we will also enhance the front board with additional details. For the normal map, we'll use the same Figma frame applied to other components. Select the Figma frame from the drop-down menu, then choose a normal map. In our previous tutorial, we applied uniform material across the entire front board, including the screen. However, for a more realistic look of the screen, we need to modify its properties. To achieve this, Select the screen, then click on the Unlink button found in the Material menu. This will enable you to adjust its settings without affecting the material applied to other objects. Next, set the metalness value to zero and decrease roughness for more reflections. Finally, set the normal map value to zero. We've now completed our texturing using a streamlined process with Figma frames and basic material tweaks. In our next tutorial, we'll wrap up the project by adding stickers and enabling augmented reality. Thanks for watching.